realizing that India and other nations will leapfrog to intelligence augmentation, just as they leapfrog to mobile, they will embrace this technology far quicker than we will in the UK even. Why? Because they have to. India, all of the outsourcing jobs and programming will go because GPT-4 can go level three Google programmer exam and pass it. Outsource jobs will go the first, whereas in France, you're never gonna fire a French person, so those jobs <laughs> are safe, you know? And so they have an objective function where they need to embrace this technology. In Africa, one-to-one -one tuition, every kid in Malawi is on things we lined up, we've got other nations. We're gonna bring them all this technology and tablets, and guess what? Their lives will transform. One AI per child is what I wanna call it, we'll call it something else. But think about the potential of that, because you have one teacher per 300 kids. What if they had a chat GPT level AI? The ROI is high and the need is high, and so they will embrace it far quicker than we will. What happens to countries that rely on outsourced work in those kind of freelancer economy jobs? In general, one of the things, the questions is, you've seen the OpenAI study, you've seen the, which said tasks will be replaced up to 44%. Yeah. You've seen Goldman Sachs say adds percentage points to GDP. I think the only solution to this is entrepreneurship. And so we need to give the tools to create new jobs that can replace some of these old jobs being done. So like to the various Asian governments, I'm saying adopt the UK policy of these sandboxes, financial, AI, and other regulatory sandboxes. So you can take these technologies, these national models that we will help you build with our consortium partners, and then spur innovation to create the jobs to replace the existing jobs, because you'll upgrade your entire society. Bring these models into your governments and other things to go from slow, dumb AIs, which is the national organization's healthcare, to intelligent, dynamic ones.